Hi, this is William, and today we're going to talk about stop wasting your time video. So does article writing sometimes make you feel like poor Gertrude? You set a goal, you vowed to write no matter how long it took. Time passed while a multitude of emotions swept over you. The words just wouldn't come. Avoid meeting the same demise as Gertrude. Be more productive and get more out of your article writing efforts by considering how much quality effort you're putting into your article writing. Then measuring how much time you're putting into your articles on a daily and weekly basis will allow you to set reasonable article writing goals to become more efficient. So find what works for you so it fits around your lifestyle and your other responsibilities. In turn, your efficiency will help you become a better expert author and help amplify your platform. And then here's how. First, identify your goals. Every task you perform should be related to a goal whether it's professional or personal. For instance, writing articles might be related to a goal to become an authority in your niche. Write your goals down. Next, release the time hounds. Faithfully track your activities and the time spent on those activities for at least one week. Then there's an article writing plan timesheet. That's at ezonarticles.com pdf timesheet dot pdf downloadable. By writing down key words for tasks, e.g. draft, write, proofread, email, Facebook, etc., and then indicate the time you spend on each task, e.g. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Be as accurate as you can by noting the time spent. Also, if you're performing another task and you quickly squeeze in another task, like checking your email, jot down a note on your timesheet. Then finally, stay the course. It will seem like you're spending a lot of time just tracking your time. You may become frustrated as you start seeing how much time you spend on a particular task. Similar to counting calories and discovering just how many calories are in your favorite treat. Stay the course. After at least seven days of tracking, review the contents of your timesheet. Then identify time sinks. A time sink is an activity that takes up huge chunks of your time. And determine which of these time sinks were reactive, i.e. putting out fires, and those that were proactive or planned. Once you determine your reactive time sinks, consider how you can adjust your schedule or proactively prevent reactive tasks. Then be dis distraction honest. Outside distractions, even self-induced distractions, can break your productive focus. Identifying these will help you hone in on a pattern you can plan around, e.g. time sinks, family, etc. To come up with a distraction defense strategy. And then inattentive tasking. Multitasking seems like the most productive period of your day, but it's still like driving while texting, talking, monitoring your GPS, and finding your favorite song. Something's going to go wrong because nothing has your full attention. If you find you're performing a ton of other little tasks while performing a larger task, try scheduling these little tasks and be disciplined to limiting your attention during those times to avoid inattentive tasking or more important tasks. Then access your goals. How many tasks on your timesheet were goal-oriented tasks? How many were not? If you find your time fleeting before you and you aren't closer to achieving your goal, it's time to reassess the situation and strategically plan. And then in summary, find the times of your day you are most productive for a particular task and play around with your schedule. What works for one expert, Arthur, may not work for you in your lifestyle experiment. Find your prime time for each task by measuring your level of productivity and how much closer you are to achieving your goals. And that concludes the presentation on Stop Wasting Your Time. And this is William. I'll see you the next time. In the meantime, take a look at my blog site, wbweeksjr.com.